Here's the solution for day 74. I've loaded up my code for day 73, which is my portfolio, and now I'm gonna go in to style it. Now, luckily for me, because I used the boilerplate code, that link code that links me to the CSS file is already there. You may need to add that into yours. I'm now gonna to go to style.css and start messing around a little bit. Well, let's start by changing the background color. I'm just gonna start with red so I get my color selector up and then I'll pick something. Again, I quite like a nice gray for the background. Let's go for a bit of a darker gray there. Maybe we'll go for a similar color too. Or you, you, you can use the color picker to actually pick a color from the site. So let's try and style it based on the replit theme, is it? Let's go for that. I'm pressing enter just to select that. I'll just refresh that. Uh, well, step one's worked, but I do need now to change the color. Now, if I want to add, add text, add text properties to the entire page, I can add it here just to change that text color. I'm gonna change text color to white here, and refresh, and I should at least be able to see my text. I think it's just color. There we go. So at least I can see the text now. I know what's going on. Okay, next is my headings. So I'm gonna do H1 and H2 at the same time. I'm gonna change the font. And let's pick font family. I'm gonna go monospace with this one like that let's make it I'm gonna go extra bold see if I get anything there we go I've got an extra bold version of that and I'm also gonna set the site the size I think I might want it bigger than that for the first heading let's go for 36 see if I can get it much bigger than that too big let's go for 30 okay and then I'm gonna go and do the h2 one separately just to give the size for that and I'm gonna make h2 Let's see, 22 pixels. Okay, I think that's looking quite good. I need to change that paragraph text. So that size is gonna have to come down. Let's make that about 14 maybe. Let's have a look, what does that look like? Yeah, maybe a bit smaller, let's try 12. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the font there, but I'm gonna explicitly tell it what that font is so that my defaults don't, if I show this to somebody with a computer with different defaults, it wouldn't, change so we're not going to see we're not going to see a difference with this now but at least i've said that i'd also like to see a background on this again i'm just picking red so i get my color picker and what i'm going to do i'm going to pick the background to be this sort of color here so it's a slightly different bluey gray the, the nice replity color scheme and if i refresh we should get a slight box around that now one of the things that we didn't look at is i can also adjust, adjust things like the margin so i'm going to do margin there I make it 20 pixel margin all around, which should mean, there you go, that the box has moved around by 20 pixels. So there's a gap now. And for what, not what I wanted there, I think I probably wanted padding, so I want the it to be inside the box. There we are, that's better. So padding gives us a little bit of a gap all around the outside. Uh, our image now, I want my image to be broadly the same sort of thing. I'd like a, a background like that and a bit of padding. So I'm gonna bring those two things in see what that looks like now here we go and I'm gonna set the width let's central line that as well it was make the display a block uh, which I think is the default anyway but just to be sure might be an inline block actually margin left auto margin right auto width 50% remember that takes over the settings maybe 50% is a bit Small for that one. Let's bring it up to 70%. And yeah, I think that's looking quite good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm going to stop there. Hopefully, you will share something cool with what you've done by publishing it or sharing it with the hashtag replit 100 days of code so we can see it on social media. Do share and tag me on anything cool you make.